What's up everyone? May the force be with you. We are about to start watching the season finale of The Book of Boba Fett. As usual, say hello to my little friends. This is Dr. Master Yoda and Darth Vader, of course. We will try and entice you to join the dark side of the force, but you must listen to Yoda and join the light side of the force you must. All right then, let's get this watch party started. This is the way. It is a long awaited lunch time on the 9th of Feb 2022. But like Douglas Adams wrote in this awesome Max Sci-Fi comedy trilogy in four parts, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, time is an illusion and lunchtime doubly so. Alright, getting apart, I've got some time for lunch and I'm using it to watch the season finale of Boba Fett. Spoiler alert and we will talk about H2G2 at some other time because Right here, right now, like Fat Boy Slim sang, it's time for the season finale of Boba Fett. Spoiler alert, and in case you thought you were going to be treated to the actual episode that is going to be playing on my TV, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I won't take a risk of a copyright strike from the bots of mega corporations that own Lucasfilm, that is Disney. Alright then, let's get this watch party started. This is the way. Right off the bat, we are into the previously on, as always. And let me catch you up on the six episodes that have gone by of the Book of Boba Fett. All right then, and away we go. Three pop culture references I'd like to draw your attention to. All righty then was Jim Carrey as Ace Ventura. Let's get this watch party started was Pink. And of course, like I just said, Away we go! Like Rick from Rick and Morty. If you haven't watched Rick and Morty or Ace Ventura or heard the music of Pink, go ahead and check it out. I won't wait because I'm getting started with the season finale of the book of Boba Fett. And before I forget, huge shout out to Project Bibliotherapy on StackMe for giving me this awesome Max gift. Fennec Shand says that the Pike Syndicate has been gathering soldiers these last few weeks and the Pikes are the main enemy who have hired Cad Bane, the master assassin bounty hunter who actually had a fight with uh, Fennec Shand in The Bad Batch. So you can check out my uh, videos about The Bad Batch as well. That was also a great series. And now that Mando is in Boba Fett, I'm loving this Star Wars universe that Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni and everyone else are creating. Okay, we also saw another awesome Max character, the Marshal, played by Timothy Oliphant in the previous episode. And Cad Bane obviously shot him down. And here we go, Krasantan, the Black Wookiee, and the Speed Mod Bikers of Tatooine, Moss Espa technically, have formed the army of Boba Fett. So now the army of Boba Fett is going to clash with the Pikes who actually carried out a terrorist attack on the Sanctuary which was a very nice Bonhomie vibe place. But uh, now we are going to see what's going to happen in the finale. The Lucasfilm logo comes out. Silhouettes are very important for the Star Wars universe to become so iconic. And I don't think any other franchise has managed to pull off this as well as they have. These iconic characters have become part of pop culture because of their silhouettes. Boba Fett and Fennec Shand are surveying the scene in the sanctuary where the terrorist attack by the Pikes happened. It was inevitable, just like Thanos was inevitable in Avengers. So Boba Fett, Fennec Shand, Mando and the Mod Speed Bikers decide that they are going to use the Sanctuary as the place from which to fight the Pikes. So the villains have had their usual bickering and you know, I did this, you did that, I won't let this happen, stuff like that. And finally, we are going to see what this, okay, the name of the episode is In the Name of Honor. Okay then. 
let's see how this season finale pans out 50 minutes to go so make sure you tap that subscribe button for all the highlights and pop culture commentary that's about to follow in this grand finale thank you so much for tapping subscribe to join my awesome match tribe and we are in the garage in which Mando lands his planes, his Razor Crest and his new cruiser and an X-Wing has just landed which means it's going to be our favorite breakout character from Mando, Baby Yoda. Grogu as his real name is has come back to join Mando and this is going to be an awesome max showdown. Uh, X-Wing is obviously Luke Skywalker's idea, I guess. He was about to make Grogu or Baby Yoda the first student in his academy. And that reminds me that I am also making an awesome Max Academy for recruiters over on InstaHire where I have fun doing my job. Baby Yoda has made an awesome Max entrance flying an X-Wing with R2-D2. So very nice callbacks from the Star Wars universe coming around as was to be expected. What do you guys think and what do you think is going to happen in Obi-Wan Kenobi's series which is going to once again reunite uh, even McGregor and Hayden Christensen as Darth Vader. Alright then, excellent start and it's looking like it's going to be very cool. And Grogu eats another slimy thing. Cat Bane has come to meet Boba Fett at the Sanctuary. <laughs> and Boba Fett says, I thought I smelled something. Oh, snap! Cat Bane is saying that if the spice drug trade continues through Mos Espa, then they might even have a truce. But spice is kind of the thing that's ruining Tatooine. So Boba Fett does not want to have that continuing. Cat Bane is telling him about how he was tricked into thinking that the Nikto Speed bikers eliminated the Tusken Raiders who saved him when he climbed out of the Sarlacc's stomach. So that's some old school Star Wars right there. But this is great setup and it's the usual who is the fastest draw that's about to go down.